Hi all. This is the second screencast of the series of screencasts which we will be doing on identity analytics. Within this, we will be focusing on authentication analytics which is a part of identity analytics. I am Hasin Tindraji, Senior Software Engineer at WSO2. Well, why do we need authentication analytics? Of course, you can get a greater insight into application users' authentication patterns. This will enable you to find application login preferences for better return on investment. You can see the user's preferences on applications and investigate different login patterns based on different dimensions. Also, you can find top users who are using the applications for better personalization. Not only users, but also different dimensions of applications can be investigated through authentication analytics. Also, you can find peak concurrent users for better capacity planning, which is a critical factor for your resource allocation. Finally, you can detect anomalies in login events or login failures for better threat analysis. This is the alerting part of identity analytics, which we will be discussing later. Well, in one of our previous screencasts, we talked about enabling analytics, including login analytics. I have the IS server up and running. Let me go through authentication analytics. While walking through, let's talk about what they are and what actually they mean. The very first page or the landing page is a summary of login analytics. Basically, you can see how many login attempts were successful and how many of them were unsuccessful. Before going into further details, let me bring your attention to the right top corner of the dashboard. Here you can see a time filter. All data in identity analytics can be filtered through these date filters. You can filter your data from last hour, last 24 hours or any of the filters provided here. Well, if you have a look towards this page, it has three main sections, has overall, local and federated login attempts. Before drilling down this further, we need to get an idea about what local and federated login attempts are. If the credentials which are used for authentication is maintained by WSO2 identity server, we can define that particular login attempt as a local login attempt. For example, we can say a login attempt via basic authentication. On the other hand, if the credentials are not maintained by IS, we can define that particular login attempt as a federated login attempt. As an example, authentication done through federated IDPs such as Facebook and Google fall under federated authentication. So now you know what actually is shown in the first page. As names imply, local and federated login attempt successes and failures are depicted in these two charts. Well, overall stands for a full authentication sequence which took place within identity server. The sequence or flow may contain multiple local and multiple federated steps. Let's move to the next page which elaborates more on overall login attempts. As described previously, overall attempts include the overall authentication sequences which took place from identity server. The important fact here is, in order to be an overall authentication success, all the authentication steps in the sequence must be passed with successes. If one of the steps fails, then the whole sequence is considered as an overall authentication failure. If you dig into these graphs, you can see the overall success and failures in first two graphs by time. Also you can observe successes and failures region wise. Note that you can drill down these data as you wish. For example, if you want to see failures, you can see what failures are. If you want to drill it down from country, you can do it too. If you go further down, you can see authentication analytics per service providers and per users. The left hand side graph elaborates per service provider login attempts and the right hand side graph elaborates per user overall login attempts. Also keep in mind that you can have multiple filters while drilling down this information. For an example, if you want to see login items of SARA for the application Traversity, you can drill it down in this way. Also, at the top of the screen, you can see what are the filters you apply. 
Well, let's move to the next section. The next section describes about local login attempts which took place through WSO2 Identity Server. The local look is almost similar to the overall login analytics layout, but there are some more data here. Obviously, you can see the user stores of the users who got authenticated. That is, you can see the statistics per user store and also you can drill down per user store. Also, you have the ability to see statistics per role and drill down information from roles. If you go to the bottom of the page, you can see a set of events which took place within the given time period. Let's go and observe the last page of authentication analytics, that is federated login attempts. This also has a similar appearance with local authentication. Apart from information like service provider and user information, you have the ability to drill down information from identity provider as well. Here we have used few identity providers such as Google, Yahoo and Facebook. As described in the local authentication and overall authentication, at the bottom of the page, you can see a set of events which took place within the given period of time. Also, as the last part, if you want to change the look and feel from dark to light, you can do it as well. That's all we have for authentication analytics. Hope it's useful. If you have further queries, please reach us through our developer mailing list. Thank you.